Hey guys, Jeremy Zimnars here from freedomfromfailure.com and uh, I wanted to shoot a really quick reaction video because the FTC has officially shut down Vima indefinitely. We found out about this news uh, Monday night, but uh, a lot of us thought that it would be a temporary issue and within a day or two they would be back up and running and this would all just be a minor bump in a road that when we look in our rearview mirror, you know, may make us as a company stronger or, you know, will not even be visible at all. But as it turns out today, it's a little more serious than a lot of us thought it was initially. Um, so what do I think about the FTC coming in and shutting down Vima headquarters? I think that it is a travesty. It is so unnecessary. I mean, what is... I know that you know they think that Vima is an illegal pyramid scheme. What have they done? They've addressed all the issues that the FTC told them, uh, you know, were weak points in Vima. They made it so you could bring in customers, and you you literally like only get paid on the volume that your customers buy. So you don't have to recruit people. You do not have to bring in new affiliates to make money with Vima. I thought that that was an airtight model right there. I mean, that's what I was going to actually start focusing on doing is is selling Vima to customers only just because you have a higher retention rate and you have fewer people coming back and yelling at you if they're not making money. The product is so good. I consume it every single day and my health ha has gone up. It's It's enhanced my life in so many ways. And I think the scariest thing for me and the thing that I'm most concerned about is now I'm not going to be able to get the products anymore, right? Like the, the body bill and the body burn. I drink those every day. To me, it wasn't so much about the income opportunity as it was about the health and lifestyle that the, the products gave me. That is my biggest thing with all of this. Now, that's not to say that I didn't make money. I wasn't raking in, you know, five figures a month like some of the other people I knew in the uh, company were. But at the same time, I was trying to build up my business around it. And I was positioning myself to build a huge residual following in the months to come. And I was just about ready to crack through that ceiling and to make a run for it and for this to happen right now obviously it was meant to happen and it was meant to happen for a reason I'm not exactly sure what what that reason is yet but um, it, it just it makes me sad but also out of this I'm also going to advise caution to anyone in an MLM that has a structure similar to Vima because now the FTC is making an example out of Vima. That means that if you're in any kind of company that has an affiliate structure like Vima, you got to watch your back and you need to start thinking of, you know, what you're going to do in case this happens to you. What is your exit strategy? Is this your only form of of income. If you are basing your entire business around one company and you're not building your brand, it's going to be a very scary experience for you. Now, luckily for me, I've been building my business around freedom from failure. So I have other affiliate offers. I do list building. Um, you know, I have Facebook and my social media profile. So, um, this isn't the only thing that I'm building my income around. I have several different things at my disposal. So uh, this isn't going to hurt me as badly as it is to some other people that I know that, you know, Vima is their thing. This is why your network marketing company should be uh, kind of like the garnish on your plate. It should enhance your plate. It shouldn't be the whole plate. It shouldn't be all the food that you're eating. So um, there's one thing that we're learning from this right now is that the government doesn't like network marketing or health and wellness companies in general. They're just going to keep doing this. And, you know, if we don't learn to adapt to the present situation in the industry right now, then we're going to just get swept over and we're going to lose everything. So this is what this is teaching us. Don't ever look at a negative and just see the negative. you got to find the positives, okay? 
you have to take this as a learning experience because if you let it sweep you away and you feel defeated from it, of course it's going to happen initially because of the shock. Uh, but if you let it completely annihilate your business and your forward momentum, then you're just not going to make it. You're just going to you know, fade away into the night like a wisp of smoke. So now is the time to take action. Now is the time to press forward and figure out what your options are. What are you good at? What do you enjoy? Where are your passions at? Uh, there are so many things out there. Just building your your brand around a around one company is not advisable even if you're well known in that company okay we've seen several leaders uh, disappear from Vima over the past month or two because they had a following and they knew that they could switch you know to other things and their following would carry them through even if you don't have a following, it's always a good idea to brand yourself around something and have that brand be something that can't be, you know, minimized or swept away uh, from, you know, the government, like like what happened to the, some of the leaders in Vima that were just under Vima. So I think I'm starting to repeat myself now, so I'm going to end this video, but uh, please feel free to comment and to message me if you have any questions or whatever, and... Um, Yes, I will be around. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will see you in future videos. Take it easy.